Hello guys, Jake's over to three here, and welcome to my first review. Now, before you go and moan about how I said that I would review this game, I'd like to do this one later because of, well, some reasons. For my first review, I have decided to do a game which, to be honest, I didn't play that much when it first came out, which may seem like a shock to most of you, because I've talked about it so much on this channel. I only really started playing playing it a lot, and when I and I mean a lot, when the second game was announced for Switch, and this game, unsurprisingly for all of you, because you can see it in the video, is Splatoon. Yes, the first one. Now, first of all, what makes this game so special when compared to other shooting games? That is the fact that in this game you can slash R, a squid who can transform into a human-like creature. This mechanic is not in any other game, well, apart from second. Second of all is that you can use weapons to get around. Don't worry, I'll be talking about weapons more later on. Using the human form, you can walk around and fight ink. And it's not paint for people who say that, it's coloured ink because squids and octopuses use it. Which, I guess, makes more sense. Now, in the main game is a variety of game modes. The main one is Turf War, where the main objective is to cover the chosen map as possible in as much ink as impossible in three minutes. Three minutes might not sound like a long time, but believe you me, once you're in, it feels longer, which is a good thing. You're in t two teams of four people, ranging in skill, which makes every match feel different. This playstyle, combined with all the different maps, is a really fun experience. In the game, there's a total of 16 different maps. Now obviously, some are better than others, for example, I like Camp Trigfish, and I don't like Walleye Warehouse. Everyone has their own opinions on which maps they like, so the variety is, is really nice. Now, beyond Turf War, there is another game mode, called Rank Battles, which is a bit more intense than Turf War. In this game mode, there is a longer time limit, because the objectives change depending on which mode you play out, you play out, the, out the three. You have Rainmaker, where the objective is to take a powerful weapon to the opponent's side. You have Splat Zones, where, the, where some areas appear on the map and your team has to ink that zone and keep it for a certain amount of time. And lastly, you have Tower Control, where you have to ride a tower along a set path to the opponent's side. My favourite out of the bunch is Rainmaker, by the way. Moving away from the online, we have the offline play. In the plaza alone, you can meet lots of different characters. Like, in the shops, you have Krusty Sean, who sells your shoes. Annie, who sells you hats. Jill Lonzo, who sells you tops. And Sheldon, who I don't like, who sells you weapons. Out of the shops, you can immediately see different players from all over the world. Some who you've found with. Then you have a thick Judd the Cat who gives you, you know, battle tips, and he also appears at the end of each match. Captain Gustlefish, who is involved with the single player hero mode, more on that later. And Spike, who you can order gear from and equip styles, again, yeah, more on that later. And finally, you had the Squid Sisters, who announced the stages and do splat fests, more on that later. The Squid Sisters are, are, are compiled of two singers, one called Marie, and the other is the hottest, most beautiful character in gaming ever. Callie. Just looking at her turns me on. Oh yeah. Next on the list is customization. In this game, you have the regular customization, like choosing boy or girl, eye colour, skin colour, etc. Then you have the clothes, which oh my god, there are so many. From hats, to shoes, to tops, you are sure to find the one that suits you. Each gear has different abilities that help in battle. Then you had the weapons, which there are also so many. Ridging from sloshes, to regular smart guns, to snipers, to brushes, the list goes on. Each weapon has their own stats, sub-weapon, and special. Sub-weapons can be used whenever, whenever and is usually a, a ranged bomb, but not always. Specials can be used when, when the meter is full. These are really powerful and will definitely kill your opponents. Next up, we have the hero mode, and there's a lot to love about this. 
There are 32 levels of single player action which includes 5 bosses. Each level ranges in difficulty and spreads light on the lore of this game. The final boss, even though I'm going to show it for spoilers, ends with the best final boss music ever, Kalimari Incantation, which is sung by the Squid Sisters. Go listen to it sometime if you haven't heard it before. For bonus funny points, the word Kalimari from Kalimari Incantation is comprised from Kalimari. In the game, also, the songs are amazing, and I just can't stop listening to them. And one plays during every single Turf War match. My final point of this video is Splatfests. This would happen once a month where two teams with a topic in mind would battle it out to see who would win. The stages are set to nighttime and the plaza is decked out with lights and music. The topics included Cats vs Dogs, Spongebob vs Patrick, Past vs Future and many more. Splatfests don't happen anymore in, in this game, but they are still happening in Splatoon 2. Overall, this is one of my best games I've ever played, and has even forced me to buy the Amiibo and a t-shirt to show my love for this game. I would rate it, out of 10, a 9.5. It is almost perfection, which is pretty good. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like in the video to show your channel. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's so also show your support and also hit that notification bell if you already have. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next review. See you guys.